just letting the uh, air conditioner get captured so I can noise remove that out. Uh, anyway, uh, going on around and coming at you for my, if you don't count the two-parter, count that as one video, fourth video uh, of the day. It's still the 14th, so um, we're good. Um, this is another job-related video about this fucking cat, man. Stop it. Don't attack my feet. Don't just be cool while I'm doing this. And I will throw your mouse around and stuff, okay? I'm sorry that you have allergies and your eye is bothering you, but you have no reason to just attack my feet out of nowhere. And besides, you're the one that lost your mouse. You probably lost it because you were clawing my hand while I was trying to I don't see it anywhere, dude. Anyway, just chill out. Sorry about that, everybody. So you've seen in the past few videos, our cat Joseph uh, is just a wild animal. He's a, he's a feral cat. He's mainly grown up with us, but sometimes he's a little mean bastard. And he, his, his eye is like, because of his allergies, and I understand he's in a bad mood, but you have no reason to attack my feet. You know, here. Straw? That straw? Yeah. They love straws. Anyway, um, so uh, this is another job related video. Um, you might notice that uh, the rehiring policy of a lot of the big retailers has sort of changed. Um, if you look at the job boards, you know. Walmart's not really rehiring, Target's not really rehiring, Winko's not really rehiring, um, you know, and there are policies on rehiring. Usually it's uh, six months or until all of your attendance issues are out of the system. And if you're one of those people who always is carrying like, like nine out of like half, 10 or whatever, you know, 90% of, let's say, of your occurrences, it could take a year for all of those occurrences to disappear. So it used to be no big deal, right? Because they always figured, well, they have to train you less. So, you know, this guy's going to get down to an appropriate number of uh, occurrences. It used to be you had to get down to four, say if you had a lot of absences, for example. You had to get down to four or so, uh, depending on the retailer, to get rehired. Then they started saying that uh, it was six months. Now most of them are saying it's until they're all gone. Uh, so like a year, uh, it could it, it could potentially be a year. Um, I tried to get back with the last retailer I was with, and they said, "Well, it's got to be a year." Um, but the last retailer I was with is simply not rehiring. I just applied for all the stores within a 20 mile radius and have not received a call from a single one of them. I've also talked to other people I used to work with. Uh, they have uh, a similar, they've had similar experiences and I still know the customer service manager very well. He's a good friend of mine from my old store. And uh, he says, He's heard my story more times than he can really count. So, a lot of you guys who kind of wanted to get back with the companies, maybe that was ultimately your plan, like, I'll just do a bunch of bullshit for six months a year, and then they'll hire me back, and it'll be no big deal. Um, are probably, like, going, well, what's, you know, you know why... Why does it feel like I'm sitting here with my thumb up my ass? And it's because they're not going to rehire you. And uh, the short and sweet answer to this is there's no reason to rehire anyone. Because there's a reason you left the company or were let go from the company. If you left the company, then probably you, in your mind, had more important things to move to or deal with. Now here you are knocking on the door again, right? If you were fired or laid off uh, because of, I don't like to say fired, if you were laid off or let go 
because of, say, attendance issues, um, then why would they have you back? It, it, there's, there's a lot of evidence that shows that people just go back to doing that. Now, maybe you had a good reason for racking up some absences or what have you. Um, you know, people are human beings, and, and some people are going to give their lives to their job, and other people aren't or, or can't, okay? That doesn't make them bad people. It's just, it's just the way it is. But think about it. Uh, let's say, um, let's just use Walmart as an example, okay? Because, uh, uh, you know, I know a few people who uh, work for them. Um, they hire you, and then you go through an orientation process, okay? Um, that orientation process teaches you about the store. Then you go out on the floor, and they watch you like a hawk for a couple of weeks, usually put you under one or two people to uh, get trained, and then uh, you, you pretty much start working on your own, okay? Well, what do you think the process is for a rehire? Yes, it's exactly the same, you know? So, the way they see it is, you know, they have 500 applications in the system, okay? Why not hire somebody younger um, that, that doesn't have any attendance issues racked up? Because, you know, hiring... In a retail environment, the retail environment changes. So, I mean, there are all kinds of reasons where why people say, "Oh man, they should have they should have rehired you," because you know, you know, you know the stow and stuff like that. Well, in a year, the store has changed. You know, not drastically, but you're still going to have to work, learn where everything is now, because a lot of things have changed. You know, uh, the uh, like in my old store. Um, the, uh, the, the, the kitty litter and the, the big bags of cat food completely swapped, I noticed last week. Uh, and and that kind of stuff happens a lot. You know, they change modulars out quite a bit. Uh, usually every night there's a mod that needs done. Uh, I was on the mod team at, at my store for a while, so I have knowledge of how those things work. Uh, so, the way they see it is, uh, the rehire is not exactly going to know where everything is anyway, okay? There could have been procedures that have changed. I mean, these places change things all the time. They're, 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 things could have changed since you were there last. If they are going to have to run you through the same gamut of procedures that they have to run a total new hire through, they're going to hire a new hire. Uh, they're going to hire a younger new hire. Um, you know, <coughs> and trust me, you know, um, if that person doesn't get through their probation, they're gone. There aren't a lot of people who don't get through their probation, but, you know, that is something you have to be concerned with, is, is getting through your probation period. Now, uh, you know, that it, you, you might you think I'm crazy all you want, but just just try and get rehired right now, uh, especially if you have attendance issues. They, I mean, maybe they might make an exception for like some other reason, like if you left voluntarily or something like that, and, and it was an amicable separation. But I know for a fact that I'm I'm eligible for rehire. Okay. I've already asked and, and everything about that. I know I'm eligible, um, but you can't tell me that at least one of the stores in a 20-mile radius uh, doesn't need somebody. And with this particular company, if they need somebody, they call you, like, right away. Like, if, you know, if they needed anybody, I would have been called within a couple of days at the most of applying, okay? Now, somebody got called. I guarantee it, but it wasn't me. Because again, 
there's simply no reason for them to rehire anyone. Uh, again, another sad fact of uh, working somewhere is, um, you know, now uh, I have heard that the the new district manager uh, will allow somebody to be rehired, but now he wants them to be away from the store for eight years. Eight years is a long time. Um, you know, you start to wonder if the world's even going to be around in eight more years. Um, but, and, and like I said, there, there might be, there might even be procedures about this whole thing. But, uh, really these things tend to go store by store. It's, it's really up to the store manager to decide what he wants to do. And if the district manager says, you're going to do things this way in my district, then that's the way he's going to do them. And if the district manager says, no, no rehires until they've been gone eight years, whether they left willingly or we let them go. Um, and if they had attendance issues, then don't hire them back at all. Uh, that's what's going to go down. You know, and uh, the, the, the worst thing is they tend not want to like deal with you on that kind of level. So they give you the runaround. They just basically make you tired of dealing with them. So you just quit trying and they're good at it. Uh, my, the, my, the store manager changed while I was away. So, but I know the new store manager, he was an assistant while I was there. Um, I asked him if getting rehired was possible. He said, yeah, you know, it's, long, it's been like a year, yada, yada, yada. Uh, go ahead and call me uh, tomorrow morning. I did exactly that, okay? I know for a fact that he hung up on me at least twice, okay? I then proceeded to play phone tag with him and store tag with him for three or four days, then got another assistant, uh, then got his co-manager on the phone she was supposed to look into something for me and never called me back. Uh, so if, if you're if you're thinking of getting rehired at one of the big box retailers, uh, your, your chances of of uh, doing so are are slim to none. Um, I kind of hate to burst your bubble there, uh, but that that's looking to be the case. I mean, I'm just a guy, but uh, like I said, I've been looking for a job pretty hard over the past year, six months. Uh, and they said they wanted me back. So, you know, it, it is what it is. Um, it's really disappointing, too, because, like, uh, I had a little trouble managing both my jobs and my life for a while. Uh, I just don't think that I really deserve, you know, this. It's just another example of how, like, once you've reached that level of management, most of those people are just soulless. Heartless, soulless, um, sad individuals who uh, have sold their, their themselves, who have prostituted themselves out to a corporation that has uh, an insane idea of what a black line should be. Um, you know, I get we don't get to decide a company's black line, but uh, you know, I don't know. It's, uh, it's all pretty discouraging. Anyway, uh, I think I'm going to make this my last video for tonight. Uh, it is now officially tomorrow, the 15th of July. Um, I now have been 40 years old for a month. Well, in like another 14 hours or something like that. Uh, 18, no, I think I was born at like 4 p.m. or something. To look on my birth certificate. Anyway, um, I'm going to go ahead and bid everybody good night. Have a good one. Good one, Ronan. Out.